In this Rhino Inside Revit Quickie, we're going to create a small grasshopper definition that uses Rhino geometry and user text to create in-place Revit families with a given material, are schedulable, and can be tagged. Okay, here we are inside Revit and Rhino inside Revit. We have a series of vreps with some user data. In this example, we're only going to use the material and the panel ID. We'll start Grasshopper. We're going to use Elephant to reference by layer. Attach a value list. This gives us our 55 B reps. We're also going to use Elephant's get user value. And if we plug in a value list, we'll select material. And we're going to create set to get the unique names. Then we can add material from our Rhino inside Revit. Just looking for our name. There we go. Two materials, list item. So we'll take this list and use the map to generate a matching list of Revit materials. Next step is to get our user, our panel ID. This is, with the panel ID, we're going to set a, a parameter to our direct shape. So we'll add our direct shape geometry. This is looking for name, category, geometry, material. We're going to create individual panels. So we're going to graft our material, graft the geometry, graft the name, and then built in categories to add a single category curtain. Name is going to be panel ID and geometry. All right, now we need to, we have 55 direct shapes in our Revit. Now we need to create a parameter. So we'll have to define parameter. These can be found in the parameters tab of our Rhino inside Revit. Parameter name is going to be panel ID going to be text and in the data category and we can add a parameter to our document and then we're going to have to element parameter set the parameter to our direct shapes so these are coming in nice and grafted we'll add our key and we'll have to graph the values of our panel ID. All right. That's it for the grasshopper. Now let's move on to Revit. First thing we'll want to do uh, when we get to Revit is we'll go to our materials. Silver, like that, a color, bronze, 
that a color. We can do that in Rhino inside Revit, but with this example, it's a little quicker. All right. And notice we have our panel ID, and that will be the same name as our direct shape. So from here, we can go ahead and create a schedule, curtain panels, uh, our panel ID, and there we go. So even though this is acting like a shared parameter, what Rhino inside Revit is doing is creating a temporary shared parameter file and deleting. That way, you can go to your project parameter. If you have a shared parameter file, go to project parameter, modify your parameter, and export to your shared parameter file. Let me go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Export. Okay. Okay. Now it's a true shared parameter file that we can create a new annotation symbol. Uh, generic tag. And per the instructions here, we'll change our category. Curtain wall panel tag. And delete the note. Now when we create our label, we can add in a shared parameter, panel ID. There we go. Push that into our project. If we go to a elevation view, we can use our annotate tag all. Curtain panels, apply, and set that to shaded. There you go. We quickly made direct shapes, added material, added a property that is schedulable and taggable. Thank you very much.